everyone today we will see how to make a delicious and a tasty eggless rasmalai cake before we start making the batter preheat your oven to 180 degrees celsius for about 15 minutes now let's start preparing the batter take some warm milk in a bowl and then add some saffron strands to it let this soak for about 10 minutes After 10 minutes the milk is well soaked with the saffron strands. Now we are going to make a buttermilk. To this warm milk add 1 teaspoon of vinegar and then mix it lightly. The milk will separate giving us the buttermilk that we need for this recipe. Then add a quarter cup of oil. I've given all the ingredients list in the description box you can check it out whisk the milk and the oil well in another small bowl take some all purpose flour or maida to this add a teaspoon of baking powder a quarter teaspoon of baking soda and a quarter teaspoon of cardamom powder then add 2 tablespoons of chopped up pistachios mix this well together to the milk and the oil mixture add some powdered sugar and whisk it well now for the essence i'm using this rasmalai essence from osoro i got this online i'll leave the link in the description box if you need it If you don't have this rasmalai essence you can use the vanilla essence itself Use about a quarter teaspoon and mix it all together Add the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients and gently mix the batter Don't over mix the batter just mix it till it all comes together Use a whisk or a spatula As I was mixing I felt my batter was very thick If your batter is thick then you can add some extra milk. Don't add too much milk at one time, add little by little. I initially added half a tablespoon of milk and mixed it. I still felt it was a little thick so I added another half a tablespoon of milk and mix it together. This consistency is okay. This is perfect. Transfer the batter into the cake tin. I'm using a 6 inches cake tin. You can use a 6 or a 7 inches cake tin for this cake. Grease and line the cake tin with butter paper or a parchment paper so that the cake comes out easily without sticking to the tin. Lightly tap the tin on the counter to remove any air bubbles and then bake this cake in the preheated oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. This is a small cake so it won't take a long time. Start checking after 22 minutes itself. Put a skewer or a toothpick in the center of the cake. If it comes out clean then it is done. Otherwise bake for a little longer. Let the cake cool in the tin for 20 minutes and then remove it from the cake tin and let it cool completely. Once the cake has cooled completely, we can cut the cake into two. As you can see this is a wonderful cake it's so soft and moist the texture is also very good it doesn't taste like an eggless cake at all it tastes so good trim the top portion of the cake and then cut the cake into two if you want you can add some yellow food color to the cake batter i don't like using a lot of artificial colors so i kept it very natural I simply love the texture of this cake. It's one of my favorite eggless vanilla cakes. Now let's frost the cake. I'm using 1 cup of cold heavy whipping cream. Add a tablespoon of powdered sugar or icing sugar. And then for the essence, I'm again adding rasmalai essence. Use a few drops or maximum up to a quarter teaspoon. Whip the cream for about 2 minutes 
till it reaches soft peaks. Once it reaches soft peaks, stop the beater and add some food color. This is optional. If you want, you can add it. I am using only two drops of yellow food color. If you want a darker shade, you can add more. And then add two tablespoons of the rasmalai milk. Continue to beat the cream till it reaches stiff peaks. And then leave the cream in the refrigerator for some time so that it will set well. Now let's start assembling the cake. Add a bit of cream to the base of the cake board so that the cake won't move. Place the first layer of cake on the cake board and then soak the cake with the rasmalai milk. Chop some rasmalai into smaller pieces. Add a layer of whipped cream to the first layer of cake and spread it evenly. Now add as much rasmalai pieces as you want to the center of the cake. And then add a little bit more of whipped cream and press the rasmalai in. You can also add some chopped pistachios over these rasmalai pieces. Then place the next layer of cake and center it. Soak this layer too with more rasmalai milk. Add some whipped cream to the sides and top of the cake and crumb coat the cake. Leave this in the refrigerator for about 20 minutes so that it will set well. After 20 minutes add more whipped cream and frost the entire cake. Finally decorate the cake, I just made some simple designs. Decorate the cake with more rasmalai pieces and chopped pistachios. So this is it, a beautiful, delicious, eggless rasmalai cake is done. This cake tastes so good with all the flavors of India. If you love rasmalai, you should try this cake. Until next time, bye bye.